This type of reaction is known as a double replacement reaction. And the reason for that is because, as you see, the sodium goes to join with the chlorine and the calcium joins with the carbonate. With this double replacement reaction, we are going to build our understanding of writing chemical equations, balancing chemical equations, converting mass to moles and moles to mass, and then reinforcing all of our understanding of stoichiometry so that we can then go ahead and apply it to an actual investigation that we will carry out in the lab. So here, what I'm doing is writing the formula for sodium carbonate. And you should recall that it's made up of sodium, Na positive, and carbonate, CO3 2 minus. And from these ions, this one being a polyatomic ion, from our knowledge of these ions, we can then shift this two down here and that one that's understood over to the outside of the CO3 where it's not included because one is always understood to get this formula Na2CO3 for sodium carbonate. A similar type of reasoning you notice makes this Ca with a 1 that's understood and then Cl with the 2 here. Then over here we've got sodium chloride no numbers because both numbers are 1 and then important to note when both ions have the same charge of course one is 2 positive and one is 2 negative when they have that the 2's would cancel and here in calcium carbonate you end up with that formula CaCO3 I also want to explain a little bit about these symbols here in the brackets AQ aqueous and what that refers to is that a certain mass of solid sodium carbonate in our experiment it's going to actually be two grams of solid sodium carbonate is going to be dissolved in a small amount of water and for the moment it really doesn't matter too much how much water it is and if we go a little bit above two grams or a little bit below two grams also that doesn't matter once we note the mass that we would be using in the experiment. So here we suggest two grams of sodium carbonate dissolved in water. That's where we get AQ. Dissolved in water, AQ. Calcium chloride is also soluble. So two grams of that also would dissolve in water and give us AQ. And the purpose of this experiment is to allow for a reaction between these two. The products of that reaction are sodium chloride. And sodium chloride is also soluble. So in the water medium where the reaction takes place, the aquatic medium, once it's produced, it would remain dissolved in the water. And of course, the whole basis for the investigation uses the fact that calcium carbonate, one of the products, is not soluble in water. That's why it's got an S here next to it for solid. And we refer to it as being precipitated out of solution. And as this reaction begins to happen and you swirl with your stirring rod or your spatula, you will see that it looks very chalky and white. And that's why calcium carbonate is referred to as chalk because it is chalk. The chalk that you write with on a blackboard or on the sidewalk is calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate also makes up coral and the rock marble after it's been pressurized for lots of um, years under pressure. It forms marble and it also forms limestone structures and um, the skeletons of lots of invertebrates. So calcium carbonate is precipitated out of solution and we can acquire that calcium carbonate by filtering the entire reaction contents here. 
so that the solid calcium carbonate would collect in the funnel here and the sodium chloride which is in solution would go through here any of these salts which are unreacted and left over because it's possible that one of them may end up not having enough moles of the other to completely react one of them might be in excess as we call it and the other one would be the limiting reagent